Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the brand new VK6050S, which is a new smartphone from uh, the Chinese, of course. What's special about it? Well, actually looking at it on the face of it, it's nothing unusual. It's, uh, it looks pretty innocent, really, but pop the back off and you'll see that it has a huge 6,050 milliamp hour battery. No, we're talking tablet sized batteries in a phone. The biggest we've seen previous to this personally has been the, the THL 5000, which had a 5000 milliamp hour battery. This is bigger by a factor. So let's just run through quickly what's in the box before we go into the phone itself. You get a free dropsy thing here, which is quite, uh, quite valuable, I think, in a lot of ways. A nice little instruction manual. That's quite comprehensive then plus charge block, um, which is a five amp, two amp, sorry, two amp, five volt charge block, USB charge block. You're gonna need all of that to, uh, to get that battery up to speed in any reasonable time. USB charge cable and headset. That's it, basic, but all you really need. So let's run through the specs, shall we? I mean, on the face of it, nothing spectacular. It's not even an optical. So it's a quad core running at one gigahertz, two gigs of RAM, uh, 16 gigs of internal memory, um, running um, Android 5.1. So it's running the, uh, the latest Android. Let's just have a quick look just to show. And uh, you know, 5.1, there you go. So it's, it's not on the spec sheet. It looks like, well, what, what the heck are you, um, you know, I, cause I really like this phone. It's a really, really nice phone for a number of reasons, but we'll carry on with the specs. So it's got GPS and all that kind of stuff. 1280 by 720 screen, again, a 5.5 inch screen, which again is, is nothing spectacular. The one things I do like, and if I'm going to start talking about why I like this, the screen is, is, is very well um, proportioned in inside the case. So you don't have a huge case considering, you know, that aforementioned mentioned battery, huge battery. So, uh, you know, they've, uh, they've thought about the design extremely well. Now, so what's amazing is of course this battery, which sits in here, it's non-removable. You can't take it out, but then I'm not sure you're gonna to want to. To dual SIM, dual standby at the top here, and a micro SD uh, card slot, which will take up to 32 gigs. 13 megapixel camera at the back and five megapixels at the front. So that's really it. I've been using it for a, a while now, and the reason I really like this is it works. Um, it's very hard to describe, but I mean, it just works. It doesn't overheat at all. I mean, yesterday I was driving back with it using sat-nav, Bluetooth transmission for the music onto the, the car uh, stereo and everything like that, and it was as cool as a cucumber, so no overheating whatsoever. Nice screen, perfectly adequate, you know, nicely responsive, does all the bits you need. And uh, it works. It's um, the 4G is fast, the Wi-Fi is fast, and if you want to know about battery life, this is bet better battery stats. Um, and it's now reading what's that? Four days, four hours, and I've got 26% sitting up there in the taskbar. Uh, I feel a bit sorry for folks who who's still struggling around with with uh, smartphones which run for half a day. The Chinese have wised up, you know, and the Android uh, community is, is, is developing things that actually last, so you don't even worry about charging the thing anymore. You know, I've just had this sitting around, used it as a need to for calls and stuff, and I don't worry. Weekends are, don't matter a jot to me. Amazing. Of course, there is definitely a, um, a penalty to pay for having a slower um, processor, you know, only one gigahertz and stuff like that. But the two, the two gigs of, of RAM help, but it's, it's, it's certainly not as fast in terms of paging in and stuff on the browser as um, the octa-cores that we've, uh, we've tested. So that's a, that's a downside. But again, uh, in real terms, in using it every day, I'm not really sure that makes that much difference. And I'm, I'm willing to trade that for the battery life and the fact that it, it really does stay very cool in operation. I, I do find the octa-cores get quite hot. Now, here's, here's a little bit of gaming for you to see, uh, you know, <laughs> the graphics. Yeah, I mean, again, they're all much, at, at this sort of level of, of performance as these uh, newer MTK Android phones are, they're all pretty good. <laughs> you, know, you don't get the kind of 
uh, slowdowns they used to get. So, yeah, it's cool. It plays nicely, you know. <laughs> what can I tell you? Even when you crash. Maps also page in nicely and the tiles are, are nice and prompt. The two gigs of RAM, of course, help a lot with that. Lock on on, on uh, sat nav is fast. I mean, there's no problem with that anymore. Although I have to say it does wander a little still in <laughs> in sat nav mode. If you're um, stationary uh, in traffic or, uh, you know, in a built up area, the, the until you get moving again, the, the satellite seems to wander. I'm not really sure why. Uh, I haven't really quite worked it out. There doesn't seem to be a lot of info out there on that. One of the nice features that it comes with as standard is what they call Smart Wake, which is where you set up a, a location through GPS and at that point it will wake up without you having to go through the security, which I think is a really useful little function and all phones should have it. Um, you just set it up once, you tell it your home, office and all uh, other areas where, or even um, apps, you know, you can have it so set up so that um, when you're in the car or, uh, and you, your Bluetooth is on, you know, it, uh, it stays awake. So that's really cool because it means that you don't have to fiddle around with security all the time. Like if you're driving, you need to answer a call and stuff. So Smart Wake is a definite winner. It also has the hot knot we've, we've talked about before, which is the... Uh, the screen to screen uh, sc uh, image swapping you know so you can swap files from from phone to phone which is also a pretty cool thing fm radio as well so you know you got the old the old trusties in here uh, it's, uh, yeah it's 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 got some nice features very good on also the qu call quality very crystal clear i can hear and when i'm talking and uh, that's a that's another plus point so what about the camera i hear you ask well, 13 megapixels is is a decent enough camera. I, I never really expect too much from these um, standardized MTK kind of um, <laughs> cameras because, you know, let's face it, they are they are generic. But this one looks to be, you know, not bad. If you can see that, you know, it's it's uh, it's actually picked up the detail okay. You're getting the, the reflection and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'll do the usual samples up, of course, so you can take a look. But, yeah, I'm, I'm actually more impressed than I would be with uh, with some others that I've tested in this, uh, in this light. The VK6050 from VK World then. So what's my opinion? I really like this phone. This is my favorite phone of the moment um, because it is so forgetful you know you don't think about it at all don't think about charging you don't it works it, it, it's fast when it needs to be with a 4g um, the process is perfectly adequate the ram's enough to run just about anything you want to throw at it yeah that's my kind of phone i don't need the frills and i just want a working jobbing phone that doesn't get hot and doesn't give me any aggravation and so far this phone has turned up trumps I can uh, I can say uh, it's a it's a, a worthy contender for anybody's shopping list. The VK sixty fifty. As usual, if you enjoyed this review, please subscribe to the channel so we can bring you more cool stuff. Thanks very much.